Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Since Captain America Winter Soldier is getting ready to premiere, I thought it'd be fun to talk about possible stories they could use for Captain America 3. They haven't officially announced a release date yet, but they have hired the directors from Captain America Winter Soldier on to develop the project. There's been so much other big Marvel news this week, including all the Guardians of the Galaxy footage, so if you missed it, I'm basically bookmarking Tuesdays as like a permanent Marvel day from now on. I don't totally know what I'm going to do next Tuesday, but be sure to subscribe to get everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anything they do for Captain America 3 will have to tie in with the other Phase 3 movies they're doing like Ant-Man, Thor 3, Avengers 3. But here are the top 5 Captain America comic book stories that I think they could use. Number 5, Dimension Z. It's more of a science fiction based story that involves this alternate dimension plot that's a little bizarre, but Kevin Feige said that Phase 3 is all about magic and that opens the door to the multiverse. A big part of the story is Captain America raising Arnim Zola's son as his own and being possessed by Zola for a little while. Minus the multiverse aspect of the story, they could totally use Red Skull's daughter, Sin, or Zola's son in a new movie. Marvel even based one of their major comic book events, Fear Itself, on Red Skull's daughter, Sin. Number 4, Operation Rebirth. Captain America is forced to work with the Red Skull. In the comic, he has to work with the Red Skull to defeat Hitler. His consciousness was trapped in the Cosmic Cube, or you know, Tesseract as it's called in the movies. So based on the events of the first Captain America movie, they'd probably have to swap Hitler for Red Skull in the movie, and then swap Red Skull for another villain like Arnim Zola. There are a lot of rumors that Red Skull is going to be in Winter Soldier, but pending that we still don't know what happened to him after he got sucked into the Tesseract in the first movie. So that character is still alive until proven otherwise, so he's got to come back at some point. Number 3, Crossbones and Sin, Captain America versus the Red Skull's daughter. This story is all about how Crossbones, you know, who's played by Frank Grillo in Winter Soldier, tracks down the Red Skull's daughter, Sin, and the two wreak havoc for Captain America. There's a big rumor that Emily Van Camp is secretly playing Sin in the Winter Soldier movie, but using that Sin character would give the third movie a way to bring Red Skull back full circle. Plus, we're already going to see Crossbones in Winter Soldier, so we've already seen most of the characters in this story in movies already. Number 2, The Death of Captain America. This would have to be tweaked just a little because it heavily involves Iron Man, and Robert Downey Jr. only has a contract to appear in Avengers 2 and 3 right now, so using him again would be extremely expensive. But they could substitute that character for another hero. It was the climax of the Civil War storyline, and it would be a good story for Chris Evans to leave the franchise on, based on what happens to the character at the end of the story. But since Evans is signed on for at least 3 or 4 more movies, he'll be here for a long time. So it's unlikely they'll use that story as soon as Phase 3, maybe much later though. And my number one pick for a new story, Captain America Reborn. This involves the resolution of the death of Captain America story and the Sharon Carter character. Since she's being played by Emily Van Camp in the Winter Soldier movie, we might get a few teases from these storylines. But Reborn is all about him coming back from the dead with this supernatural Red Skull body possession plot. It's a very magical slash metaphysical storyline, so it would fit with the tone of Phase 3, you know, that magic tone, maybe after a Doctor Strange movie happens. And one last bonus option, Avengers Under Siege. This is all about Baron Zemo and the Masters of Evil storming the Avengers Mansion and beating everyone within an inch of their life. They crush Cap's spirit by destroying all of his World War II mementos from before he got the Super Soldier Serum, so it's just villains twisting the knife in his wounds. You'd have to substitute some of the Avengers for other characters, but Winter Soldier is already playing with this theme a little as the villains injure Nick Fury pretty badly in the movie. So there are a bunch of other possibilities for them to pick from for Captain America 3, but remember, all of Marvel's Phase 3 movies thematically have to blend well with the idea of magic and tie into the idea of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline for Avengers 3 purposes. Seriously, just picture Captain America in outer space. The real trick with any Captain America 3 story they do is integrating the more cosmic elements of the Marvel Universe into the more practical elements of Captain America stories. But now it's your turn. Let me know which story do you want to see them do for Captain America 3? And do you think that the Red Skull is going to show up in Winter Soldier? So like I said earlier, I haven't quite decided what my next Marvel movie video is going to be on Tuesday. Maybe Guardians of the Galaxy related again. Be sure to subscribe to get it. Feel free to leave me any suggestions for anything you want to see in that. Right now, click here to get a breakdown of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. And click here to get a breakdown of the Captain America Winter Soldier trailer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.